right? dE dt, and since E is equal to V over L, and then this one just becomes L comes out, dV dt, and then that's it. I take the derivative of this voltage, okay? So the derivative of the voltage And then the derivative of this is going to be what? 120 radical 2, 2 pi f is going to come out times cosine of 2 pi f t. Right? The derivative of sine is cosine. So 2 pi f comes out and all of that. And then the 2 pi cancels with this 2 pi. So magnetic field is equal to vinyl mu zero E zero A one twenty root two over the length of the wire. So mu zero E zero A over one twenty root two over L times the frequency which is sixty hertz and times cosine of two pi F T. But what's the cosine of 2 pi ft going to be? At that split second when the current is 0, right? When the current is 0, that means sine 2 pi ft is 0. So cosine 2 pi ft is what? 1. So just for that split second when the actual current is 0, displacement current will take over, and it will still give you, uh, you a magnetic field. Now, for the sake of interest, let's find the magnitude of that field and see if, if it is big or small. I anticipate it's going to be pretty small. Mu zero is zero. I'm going to need the area of the wire, 120 root 260. And uh, the L, OK? So let's put here mu zero is 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7. E0 is 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12. Area, well, let's say the wire has a radius of, let's say it's a thin wire, let's say 0.4, uh, let's see, no, let's say 4 millimeters is the radius. Uh, so that's going to be, uh, area is going to be, pi r squared, pi times the radius squared, 4 times 10 to the minus 3 squared, so that's 4 pi, that's e0, that's pi r squared, this is 120 root 2 times 60 divided by and then I would have to give you the length of the wire, let's say 20 centimeters. So uh, that's 0.2 meters. Actually, I did forget here one thing, the R, because that's the uh, dependence of the B on the R. So I just, I can put a general R here. Okay, multiply all that out. Now, see, uh, it should be pretty small because you got a bunch of negatives, 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 negatives. But it still does exist. So even for that split second when the current is zero, there still is a B field created by the changing electric flux. So give me the bad news here. How, how small is it? While you're doing that, let me write the other case where this comes in.
very, very small number. Probably going to be about 10 to the minus 19, minus 25, uh, minus 24, about 10 to the minus 20th, something like that. Times 10 to the minus 18 over R depending on what the R is, right? Teslas. So it's pretty small compared to the case where the current is not zero, well then the current dominates. The current creates a strong B field. But when the current is zero, this one will appear and uh, it'll be a pretty small uh, number. So there's one case where that happens. The other